and love There's a girl in the kitchen Who I am thinking of And I'm waiting for the day she married me Sheriff, the cards say you are considering A very important business deal Eh, uh, you betcha Should I go through with it? Sure, but don't let him charge you more than $40 a case. Fresh traveling salesman. Hello, Thelma. Say, listen, you'd better stop playing that piano or the boss will fire you. He can't fire me. I'm engaged here by the month and I've only been here a week. Well, you better not let him hear you saying that. Oh, the deuce of it. Thelma, you know I wrote a little song about you last night? Oh, go on. Yeah, you want to hear it? Mm-hmm. Sit down, I'll play it for you. All my life I have been thinking What the future has in store for me I smell cabbage burning. Cabbage nothing, it's the sheriff's cigar. <laughs> <sighs> I've been longing for a girl like you. Once a bashful, shy and true. Johnny, my supper's burning. Oh, don't go away, Thelma. Sheriff, the cards tell everything. Thelma, wait a minute, I want to talk to you. It's a very good fortune. Hmm? You will get your wish. You notice that the Jack of Spades plays quite a synthetic part in your life. Say, will you tell, tell my fortune? Yes, you want your fortune yeah. told? All right, now, shuffle the cards and tell me what you would like to know. Tell me when I'll get married. Oh. Sorry, but I don't see marriage in your cards. No? No, you see, there is the Ten of Clubs, which, according to the Gypsies, calls a Scorpio to run into Virgo, leaving nothing but Capricorn. Capri what? Corn. Sheriff, she was right. I've had a corn for over three days. I think <laughs> it's going to be a bunion. <laughs> Cut the cards, please. The jack of spades. That's very bad. That jack of spades was in my fortune, too? Yes, Sheriff. Only this time, the jack looks blacker. Say, why don't you call your shots? Where do you think you are, in a swimming pool? Cut. This looks very bad. Let me see your palmistry. What? Your palmistry. Why, madam, I'm surprised at you. Oh, I come, come, come. Your hand. Oh, my palm. What is that sticking out of your collar? Uh, pardon me, my error. It's your head. <laughs> Say, hold that pose just a minute. Huh? Do you know you remind me of clay? Not Henry Clay. No, just the common clay, the kind they make the flower pots out of. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, don't lay an egg. Is that compulsory? No, vegetable. I'll turn on the radio. I would. Pass me a glass of water, please. Is it fresh? I don't know. It's uh, never said anything to me. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. That's all right. Funny how off 
from that Jack of Spade showed up today, ain't it? You know, I noticed that myself, Sheriff. It was very funny. Johnny, will you have some jello? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Station WYX. Folks, pardon the interruption. The police department have asked us to broadcast a warning. Strangler Dan has broken jail again. He is a dangerous criminal, and we ask you to keep a sharp lookout for all suspicious characters. We thank you. The program will now continue. Well, Strangler Dan better not show up around here. If he did, Sheriff, what would you do? I do my duty. They pretty well know who's sheriff around these parts. <laughs> Why, sheriff, is that the horse pistol you raised from the colt? <laughs> Johnny. Shut the door. Gosh, I feel funny. Well, now we can go ahead with the vittles. Police bulletin now gives a rough description of Strangler Dan. He is about six feet tall, heavy eyebrows, and when last seen had a beard and mustache. He wears a soft gray cap. Look out for him. He may be in your neighborhood. Please stand by. to the back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who's the proprietor of this hotel? He is. He is. I'm sorry, all our rooms are taken. Why, boss, number 13. Shh. Well, we'll try and fix you up. Johnny, show the gentleman to a room. Yes. Never mind. I want a cup of black coffee. Good. Jack Spades. Shut off that radio. I don't like it. <laughs> Where's the post office? We're just down here about... All right. I'll find it. What did he look at you for? How do I know? Sheriff, he's going to blow it up. Why didn't you arrest him? Yes, why? You, you can't around for drinking a black cup of coffee. Oh. We have a storm before the morning. I've had to come out here for wood three times tonight. Did you put a spooky around here? What was that? Oh, just the wind closed the door, I guess. Don't be afraid, I'm here. I don't mind coming for wood when you're with me. Did you hear any 
anything? Sounds like somebody walking, doesn't it? Somebody's cap. Somebody groaning. Look. Quiet, we'll go and get the sheriff. Then why didn't you arrest him when he came in the room tonight? Well, uh, we sheriffs can't arrest a man unless he commits a actual crime in our county. Drinking a cup of black coffee is not a crime in the county. Oh, no. I suppose shooting a duck is a crime in the county. This is no time for joking. This is serious. Friends, there is now a reward of $10,000 offered for the capture of Strangler Dan, dead or alive. All sheriffs are warned to be on the lookout and arrest any suspicious characters on sight. We thank you. There, you see, you could have arrested him, even if he did drink the cup of black coffee. Oh, I'm so nervous. Why don't you men do something? Oh, shut up. Don't be foolish. Now, don't get excited. We men folks will handle the situation. Coach! Sheriff, 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 we saw, we saw. What? The, the man with the beard. I found his cap outside the barn. The stranger. Strangler Dan. Yes, his body is hanging in the barn. He shot himself. Ten thousand reward. Are you sure you saw him hanging? Yes. Then he'll have to reckon with me. Give me my hat. Come on. Go on. the body. It was right up there. It's gone. What's that? Oh! Ah, uh. oh. Open the door! It's a sheriff! Open the door! In the name of the law! Let me out! That was me. Just wanted to be sure it was you. Oh, oh, where's, the, where's the lantern? In here, but I got no matches. Well, I got them. Let's light it. Oh, I don't like There's it, Something very mysterious here, Sheriff. I know it. Gee, but I'm nervous. Shh, that's all right. Who locked the door? That's, that's what I don't right. know. This is Somebody terrible. Here's your gun. Awful. sign of death. Oh! <gasps> Look! Be quiet! Be quiet! Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, go ahead. Johnny. Mm -hmm. Me, you know me, it's Johnny. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
open the door before it's too late. He's got me, it's too late. Oh, Thelma, is it you? You're not afraid, are you, honey? No. Oh, don't be afraid, I'm not. Oh, where's the sheriff at? Who? Oh, somebody's got me at the well, back. There's nobody there. There is. Somebody's got me by the dress. Oh, oh it's just a fox trap. That's what? A what? A fox trap. Well, take it off then. Oh, my nerves are well, all shut. Well, that's all it was. My nerves are all shut. I thought it was Strangler Dan. We well, were all too excited to get excited over nothing. <laughs> I, I rushed across there and a horse collar got me. I thought he was choking me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> think that. What's that? Where's the sheriff? Yes, where? Why don't he come here? I don't know. Here I am. Sneaking around here. Wait a minute. I'm an officer. That's what I'm doing around here. Well, what of it? Well, I've been doing a little exploring. Yeah? And I found this. Well, I'll be darned. Bootlegger. Shh. Rum runner. Shh. Moonshiner. Not so loud. There's a lot of people around here. Say, you'll get 20 years for this. Yeah. Say, isn't there some way we can fix this up? Say, what are you trying to do? Bribe an officer? Certainly not. How much you got there? Two thousand dollars. Well, I'll just take that for evidence. I'll take the evidence. Say, Pick up your hands. Pick them up. Who is this guy? What do you mean by interfering with an officer? Officer, my foot. That badge is a fake. You're a hijacker and he's a bootlegger. I've been watching him for a week. Well, who are you? There's who I am. Why don't you know he's Colonel Hackett of the Secret Service? Thanks. Would you have believed that the proprietor was a bootlegger? Right now, I'd believe anything. Say, Sheriff, put the handcuffs on these two birds. You bet your life I should have. And you, Pete Monroe, a bootlegger, you could knock me over with a feather. Oh, shut up. Take him down to jail, Sheriff. How is it, strong? It ought not to be. We clean it out every week. Will wonders ever cease? The proprietor turns out to be a bootlegger, strangler Dan a hijacker, and the hired man a detective? Say, who are you? Well, believe it or not, I'm the Emperor of China. Oh, really? 